Guys, here we are. I'm back in San Antonio. I'll tell you what, everywhere we go, people say street tacos are the thing. Uh, top 10 pick of the week that I think is something, gonna be something special is right down there, a place called Bariba. We're gonna go on down there. We're gonna see why they're street tacos. They're styled, they do seven of them. They're supposed to be authentic. The music's supposed to be happening. The artwork's supposed to be fantastic. And it's a place I think San Antonio's definitely gotta come and check out. Hi, and welcome to Hot Spots on Fox. Here on Daytime at 9, we are searching for the best food and the coolest spots in San Antonio. And with the help of the great people of this city, we're heading in the right direction. So come and join us as we check out what this culinary capital of Texas has to offer. Tacos. Street Street is the name of the game. That's where we're going to be going tonight. So I'll tell you, once we walk in, we're going to see how the manager feels about his new place. Here we are. Here we are. We told him we would be back. We talked to him last night. I'll tell you what, San Antonio's top 10 pick, my pick, tacos. Look who's back. We're here hey, for doing? Street Tacos. Street Tacos. Best oh, street right. tacos on the planet. Good to see you. I'll tell you what, we're going to come in. The place is looks already bumping already. Yes, sir. I'll tell you, we're going to try some of the food. We're going to talk to the manager. Hi, how you doing? Once again, here we are driving around town this whole week and I'm looking for places, talking to different people, telling me where to go. I hear this and that about different places, but then I get here, the, the new genre, the food, the food that's really happening in San Antonio, street tacos, street food, street, authentic street food with a really good Mexican flair, Mexican flavor, but bringing the authentic flavors in with, of course, a Riverwalk flair. I'm yes, John McCormick once again, Chef John with Daytime at 9. And I'm speaking with Gina Hardbarger, I'm the general manager of Reba Cantina. Uh, I've heard a lot about your drinks, your specialty yes, drinks. Tell yes, me sir. a little bit about what you have right here. Um, what we have here, we have a pomegranate infused beef eater gin with uh, St. Germain elderflower and a splash of champagne. And it's infused with fresh pomegranates. We actually cracked the pomegranates open. This is our handcrafted margarita made with, we, we don't use any mixes, we don't, I mean, excuse me, we don't use any powders or any pre processed mixes. Fresh orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice, and a splash of agave nectar for our margaritas. Wow. And of course, this is a classic French 75 made with brandy, champagne, triple sec, lemon juice. It's a wonderful classic. And the name drink. of that one again is called? That's a French 75. Wonderful. Oh, that sounds great. I'll tell you what. That among the street tacos makes this place what it is. I think one thing you got to know about here, you know, entertainment, entertainment with music, and entertainment for the eye, and that's the artwork that's around here. It's fantastic. Tell me a little about where, the, where does all this come from? Who put it together? The style is so, uh, it's just so eclectic. Mexico is just, it's just awesome. When we first started, we sort of wanted people to get a taste of San Antonio, a sound of San Antonio, and the visual art of San Antonio. The mural behind me that's over the uh, bar, it's about a 36-foot mural. It was done by a local graffiti artist who's actually one of my servers downstairs at the county line. He's worked here for really? about 10 years. Awesome. We set it up above um, above a down in a, in a downtown building and stretched a canvas 40 feet. It took him about a month to draw it, then we hung it up there. Back again here, we've been talking to the general manager. She's shown us some excellent drinks. I'll tell you what, we don't have time to go over all the wonderful food here. These are some highlighted foods. It looks fantastic. It looks fresh. The presentation is beautiful. And of course, by the people that are here and the people that I spoke with coming in and out last night, this is what it this is what it's all about in San Antonio. You think you're gonna get a really good feel. Especially down on the Riverwalk when you have so many different choices. You find a place that gives you a really nice homey feel, a well thought out place, a beautifully decorated place. Give us the insight on the food. Basically what we're doing, we're featuring the street foods in Mexico. Very simple foods, very fresh. Street. Yes, gluten free, which is always a plus, and, and you know, and semi-healthy. We've got our, our Baja fish tacos made with fresh tilapia uh -huh. that we uh, pan sear, we do not fry, that they're very nice. They're served with our um, homemade avocado tomatillo sauce, our uh, fresh pico de gallo, and our pickled onions. Very tasty, very simple, very fresh. Wonderful, great flavors, they smell great. And this one right here? This is our basically our, our ceviche, made again with tilapia, lime juice, tomatoes, onions, and uh, a little bit of serrano pepper. You know, I saw, I saw several of these on, on the tables coming in. Definitely looks like one of the definitely hometown favorites here to order. So guys, make it a choice of yours. Come down, experience this place. Being a chef, being around for a long time, you know, it's, it feels like it's my job, my duty to make sure San Antonio is well fed. And this is the place to do it in comfort and style and a lot of class. Thank you very much for Thank joining us. Thank you very us. much for coming in. We appreciate right. it. Thank you. Bye-bye.
for everybody out there watching and to all of our sponsors, I'd like to say thank you for watching Hotspots on Fox, and we'll see you next week.